Hello and welcome back to the Tears Collective. Today we're going to be playing some more World of Warships. Today we're going to be playing the United States Tier 5 cruiser, the Omaha. Uh, this thing is supposed to be a scout cruiser? A high-speed scout cruiser is what it says on the Wargaming Wiki. Yeah, 32 kilometers, sorry, 34 knots to me is not terribly fast, especially if you compare to... Um, the, the new French uh, cruise the line, which some of them can get to 44 knots with the speed boost. So, I mean, it's you know, maneuverable. The Omaha is quite maneuverable. It has uh, fighter planes. It has acoustic search. So it's good. But it's... It, 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 I don't think it's a scout cruiser. I think it's a kind of odd middle right ground between the Phoenix and the Cleveland. So it, it makes sense from a, a purely development standpoint but realistically i i don't see it as a scout cruiser it, it has some benefits right it has two sets of torpedoes one on each side um it has eight guns uh you know it, it it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination but it has some significant drawbacks um primarily the second anyone looks at you with ap you're going to get citadel this thing is practically built on of citadels, and the second anyone fires at you, you're in trouble. And very occasionally, an HE round fired by a battleship might, in fact, citadel you. So it's like, yeah, not good. And just on the the, the video right now, you've just seen part of the one of the biggest benefits that this uh, cruiser has, and as well as a lot of the United States. Um, cruisers and destroyers have is that gorgeous gorgeous arc of on the, the, the shells so i'm firing on those two french destroyers the guest galissonier okay I'm, I'm i'm gonna butcher that every time so i'm just gonna the gal and there's two of them on the front there and then i'm putting fires into this fuso over here and as you can see the little head on the, the end of that uh mountain there it was stopping some of my rounds so i have to turn to, to be more useful um, I'm slowly backing away. I'm slowly turning the outside of my uh, ship so that I can bring more guns to bear. Um, it is at this point that I have noticed no one's actually fired at me yet. Which is incredibly unusual for this uh, ship. So I fired on the first gal and the second gal comes up behind. And they're both wearing uh, very interesting camos. I believe that this one I'm firing on now is using the Christmas camo. And the other one is using the Ocean Soul camo which is relatively new. Um, I'm just not a big fan of camo on, on some of the bigger ships. It's just odd. Um, and as you can see, we are we are currently contesting D, which is the one I'm firing next to. Uh, they are uncontested, basically, at A. The cruiser and... I believe, sorry, two cruisers that we're, we're contesting A have now turned tail and fl are fleeing. This poor uh, Legal is sitting... He's got stuck on the island, and he is, he is not going to have a good day. Um... There's a, there's a lot of heavy fire coming in. I've got a lot of friends nearby. There's a couple, three, four cruisers and a, a battleship. Actually, now that I'm remembering, I'm looking at the teams. There are two battleships, one carrier on my team, and the rest are carriers. There are no DDs on any to either team. The other side has one more battleship, but I mean, where are... I understand there is the well, when I played this there was a mission for uh, cruisers and to do 500,000 damage in the cruiser to get I think it was ocean solar benefits or whatever and uh, I can't imagine it was that good or you know people are taking this long so that we have to get that many cruisers um, and as you can see I've, I've racked up about 20,000 damage right now I've got my first kill and the first blood um, medal uh, that Fuso was up until just recently still burning. So I think he's just popped his re repair. And as you can see, almost my entire fleet is right next to me, but they're taking in a long route around. There is a battleship right behind me. Uh, not that I know it when I play this, I, I'm noticing it right now. Um, and it's this point that I'm s they're, they're holding, they just took A. We need to push on D. We have to get into D to get capped on it. And they have basically fled they're not putting any... None of their ships are really right into D, so we need to... 
push in and capture to you know so we're not going to lose the game um we've got some points because we've taken gotten two kills and they haven't gotten any kills so far so that's a that's a benefit actually one of my favorite things with this uh cruiser and as well as the uh nicholas uh and the farragut that i put up in an other video just recently i love arcing shells over the top of islands and 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 hitting other ships it's it's a remarkable feeling to just sneak it over it's like firing an arrow over a hill and hitting some random person on the other side um this poor congo is coming in i'm lighting him up he's got two fires on him so far um and if, if i were closer i could probably run the shells back and forth along this the length to see if i can't set fires all four fires down the length of the congo um, the primary issue is because of that long arc it's very difficult to figure out just where it's going to hit so it's easiest especially when it's at this range to aim for the central infrastructure area where the pagoda uh, bridge is that's where you're most likely to hit and you're still going to get decent fires there um, so poor congo is being shot by pretty much everyone in the area um, we found one of their carriers. It's a, it's a Rio, or the carrier they have. It's a, it's a Rio, uh, Japanese carrier, and I set the, the his rear on fire. Um, so that was that was a bit of luck right there. I wasn't particularly planning on it, but he is burning quite quite significantly. I'm doing you know 1500 damage per salvo. It's not terrible in the way of uh, damage. Destroyed some of his anti-aircraft things. It's a very 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 nice. Uh, ship when you have the opportunity to do damage when other people are tanking damage for you and i i killed the congo i burnt him to death look at that um that's i think it's the biggest issue when it comes to this carrier you have no no real armor to speak of it's very similar to how the the phoenix was where you the second anyone looks at you funny you're dead uh but you end up getting a, a lot of attention because you are built of citadels it's similar to how the the royal navy ships get citadeled incredibly easily the the issue is they also can pump out rounds at a rate of knots they also have very good torpedoes uh, they, a lot of them have either uh repair uh you know heels or they have uh smokes so they have other benefits that you simply do not have. You know, acoustic search is nice. The the airplane is nice. But it's not going to be so important as to be um, to, to, to protect you in, in the case of a battleship bearing down on you. There's no way for you to tank any damage because what damage you do take will, will basically penetrate. And the, the enemy fleet, which is about two or three cruisers and a battleship have now moved from a to b and they're capping b which is our, our home base basically um a few of their cruisers and one of their uh battleships the fuso are kind of dueling it out with the rest of my fleet down here and it, it's starting to bug me that these the rest of my fleet's kind of hanging back i mean guys come on you gotta you gotta get stuck in here so i'm, I'm worried now i'm, I'm thinking God, they're coming back around they're gonna attack d and I do this fantastic tactical move that I'm taking complete and utter uh, credit for, despite the fact that I did it on, by accident. Uh, if you drive straight into an island, you stop. And with this ship, as well as some, like the Royal Navy, I think the Belfast is pretty bad about this as well. They don't do not stop on a dime. However, if you run into an island, you can stop on a dime and then start reversing quite quickly. Um, it's not necessarily the most effective way of doing it, and especially if you are in the line of fire. Um, I just happen to have this massive island between me and the, the Fuso and the uh, Fiji and I. So we I, I was not going to get shot at from that, that side. I was really only worried from behind. Um, and I, I can see a lot of the cruisers in my team have now turned. Um, I believe that our carrier has been found now, so that's not going to be a good thing. That Fuso is down to 900 HP. He's, he's not far long for this life. That's poor AP rounds. I saw I switched to the Cleveland because I'm thinking, oh, he's not gonna die. I set him on fire, he's down to 700 HP. 
he's not going to be he's not going to last very long. And he's repaired. Uh, no. Keep firing, keep firing. Got to kill that Fuso. He's got some very, very big guns on him. Cleveland going back. Because I'm assuming that Salvo is going to hit and it's going to do some damage. In. No, we've got some shatters. Fantastic. Down to 400 HP. He's almost dead. Another Salvo out. And he's, he's healing. He is healing. Fantastic. So the Fuso that I was ignoring, trying to kill the Cleveland, uh, is now healing up. He's up back up to 3,200, 3,700, 4,000. Great. Great, great, great. So I'm trying to focus down this Fuso. The Cleveland's still there. I am basically the leading edge, which is not what you want to be in this ship. You do not want to be the main battery in this attack. And to be fair, to give the, the enemy the credit, these two guys are doing basically exactly what you want to do. They're leading us away from their primary ships, their, their primary fleet, leading us away from the cap. Uh, the Fuso completely de deletes the Koningsberg that was sitting in sea trying to cap it. Um, so he wasn't focused on me at all. Um, and, and for the keen observer, who um, may have noticed it by now, I have yet to take any damage. And I'm fairly certain, I don't know 100%, but I'm fairly certain I don't take any damage at all this entire game or at least nothing significant so you know that's like pretty much the first salvo fired in my direction and none of them hit me um again another fire kill on the fuso uh i start to focus on the cleveland now which frankly that guy should be should have killed me long ago put out a couple salvos my guns are not really rotating terribly quickly so i've got to just fire when i can uh and he gets completely annihilated by the bion on my team so it is at this point where Basically, the only way for us to win is to either kill the rest of the team, which is going to be difficult. They've got four big cruisers and one battleship. Um, the Gnice now is still got 33,000 HP, so it's it's not going to die anytime soon. So realistically, the only way for us to win is to cap. Uh, and they are still contesting D. They're not quite in D, and they're focusing on the carrier, which, you know, that's a little bit of tunnel vision from them. So it's at this point where I basically tell my team, you know, focus on D. I will cap C. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll try and get some of the caps. If you guys can defend and keep them occupied, we can win this. Um, I'd like to think that my words have inspired them to, to success and, you know, coming to, you know, listening to my commands and, and that no, it doesn't work. I like to say that, but I'm pretty certain my team was not stupid. They're all credit due to them. They are a very, very good team. I'm, I was impressed with them. Um, there's a damaged Fiji, about 7,700 HP still. And I'm not terribly sure why he is so far back right now. It's very, very unusual. Um, Fijis are quite quick. Uh, I'm, he's turning. I, I, I don't understand what he's up to. Um, but there you go. And uh, One of the guys in my uh, on my team, I don't remember exactly what his name was. I think it was Kago or something. Was telling us just how bad... A team we were how bad we were at how what we were doing well sunshine i'm up to three kills in literally at this point in time the best omaha game i've ever played in my entire existence i don't think the rest of my team is in any worse much worse than i am i i don't know where you're coming off selling me hey you guys suck but uh, that on and at this point, I'm trying to see if I can't lob my shells over the top of this mountain. It's just too high. And frankly, I don't think it would have gotten all the way to the other side. Uh, and and the, the Fiji is right, right, right on the edge of my, my gunnery range. So I probably wouldn't have hit anyways. Um, yeah, Kahugo. He says, go back to D and kill them all. It's like, uh, yeah. To which one of the other guys replies, they aren't all that deep, which is true. We can only see three of them. At least one other one is nearby. And we have no idea where he is. He hasn't shown up on the map. He could be anywhere. He could be hiding in the border. We're currently at 700 points and they're currently at 800. So we're, we've got the same amount of caps. Uh, they have four ships. We have six ships left. So we got the ship advantage. Um, and I found the York who is sitting in the cap. A, cap A and I'm firing and it's got to bounce off of what looks like a radar turret or something like that and at this point I realize that the York uh, he's AFK 
he is a pot. He must have driven straight into the cap and then decided uh that's yeah that's it that's it we're done no more and yeah i just yeah gonna farm some damage i'm already at 61,000 uh kills uh damage already so it's fantastic uh you know especially with the ship i'm i'm happy when i get 30,000 damage frankly i'm i'll be the first to say i'm not an expert at this at, at playing american uh cruisers i'm actually looking forward to the cleveland it looks quite interesting um and and you you may have just noticed the very first time I've used my torpedoes in this entire game. Um, I 5.5 kilometer range is nothing, frankly. Uh, I get one torpedo hit. I wasn't really, you know, focusing on it. It was a very bad angle to fire in any case. So I just finished pummeling him down. I switched back to AP since now I have his broadside, and I just put as much damage into pop as possible. 5,000 damage onto a cruiser. It, it, that's a significant amount of damage. And, you know, he eventually sinks. I think, yeah, I flooded him. Uh, the issue, though, is because he was sitting in the cap, I couldn't capture the area. So now I'm, I'm, I have to kind of sit and wait. And the Fiji is coming straight back at me. Oh, crap. Fiji could probably melt me in about two seconds because Fiji, it's a, a Royal Navy ship. They have uh, AP only. They don't have AG. So he could probably nuke me pretty badly. He's not looking at me. But it doesn't mean he won't be able to fire, turn and fire fairly quickly. Uh, I'm still capturing the area. I'm still trying to be undetected. I could have fired just now. But I'm trying to be undetected. I am detected by something. Possibly the Fiji getting close enough. But I, I had to... You know, stay, stay as undetected as possible just to cap this area. I'm at 900 points now, so it's not bad at all. Okay, well, you know, so as you may have noticed, we win. Uh, I get four kills, tons of damage, almost 90,000 damage. Not bad at all. Uh, and yeah, it was a very good game. I, I'm pleased that this was probably my best game in the uh, Omaha that I've ever gotten. And I'd like to continue this kind of gameplay in the future um, on the Cleveland. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, queries, please feel free to send them to me here on in the comments or in the chat or uh, on Twitter. You guys have a great day. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like or subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Thank you very much for watching.